Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome to another t Canter tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be talking about is how we can add a graph to our t Canter window. So we want to graph the actual like Bitcoin price at the time. And then, so for now, we need to figure out a way to stuff a matplotlib graph into a t Canter window. So for a lot of people, this has been a, a long time request because people want to either add buttons to matplotlib or take away buttons and add just add their own kind of flavor to their matplotlib uh, graphs. So uh, congratulations, here's your long-awaited video. So uh, so this is our baseline uh, application, and then we're basically just going to, we've since we've got this application to add more pages, all we're going to do is we're going to add a page 3, and page 3 is going to be uh, a page that contains a graph. So uh, to, to, to begin, matplotlib is not built in to Python. So if you do not have matplotlib installed or you have an old version of matplotlib installed, I highly suggest you update uh, your version if you want to use matplotlib styles. Unless, of course, you followed my older version of the matplotlib styles where we uh, just kind of worked around it. Because for a while, matplotlib styles was an ability, but it wasn't built into matplotlib. But with the newest version, 1.4 of matplotlib, you have matplotlib styles. So. If you don't have matplotlib or you need to update matplotlib, you can come to matplotlib.org and then go to downloads. And then here are all your downloads. If you're on a 32-bit Windows, here's your download. If you're on a 64-bit Windows, here's your download. Download that, install that. Um, also, also, obviously, make sure you match your version of Python. <clears throat> so. Uh, so that's that. That's matplotlib. Download that. Install it. Make sure you can go to an idle uh, window. So idle like this. I'm not sure which one is two or three, but I'll just pick one. And where is it? There we go. Okay. Make sure you can do import matplotlib. And then also, uh, if you want to make sure, if you want to find out if you are on the current version or the, the most recent version that we're going to use, I want to say it's from matplotlib import style. Yes. Okay. Make sure you can do those two things. That's what we're going to need in this video. If you can do those two things, you'll get through the rest of the series with matplotlib. So close out of that and move matplotlib out of here. So now in our application, what do we need to do? So we're going to come to the top of our application, bump some stuff down. And we're going to go ahead. We have oh, actually kind of a lot of things to import here. <laughs> Uh, we're going to need at least import matplotlib. We're also going to use uh, tk uh, ag. So that's matplotlib.use. And then in here you put tkagg. Mind the caps. That's a capital T, capital A, lowercase k, and lowercase gg. What's this? Uh, this is the back end, basically, of, pi or of uh, matplotlib. So depending on what your uses are, and if you want to shove matplotlib and this or that, you can change up the back end. Also, well, really, that's, that's the main use. So when you're using matplotlib in various scenarios, you might want to change the back end so that everything jives. <coughs> so matplotlib.use, cool. Now, <coughs> what we want to do is, um, hold up, let me think here. Uh, let me see what we we're going to do. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to try and avoid using NumPy. Uh, in my example, I was going to have us use NumPy, but I don't, want, I don't want to have to make everybody get NumPy just yet. But what we're going to need to do is we're going to go ahead and import, or so go from matplotlib.backends.backend underscore tkagg import, so from this nastiness, Import what? And we're going to import figure. Um, it's probably going to run into my pretty face here in a minute. So let me just bump this down. So import figure uh, canvas tkagg. Uh, and then the navigation, navigation tool bar to tkagg. OK, mind the caps here. So this is our canvas, and it just sounds just like it is. It's what's going to allow us to draw a matplotlib graph to a canvas. 
uh, for TKAGG. And then also, this is the navigation toolbar. If you're not familiar with Matplotlib, that's like the bar that allows you to go forward, back, home, save, zoom, all that stuff. So we want that, obviously. <clears throat> so we'll get that. Um, and also, I will just say, I did say obviously, but there may be a scenario where you don't want that. And you can actually get rid of that, or you, and you can even make your own buttons to make them look better. We're gonna go ahead and use it, <laughs> but if you wanted to get rid of it, you actually you can actually get rid of it. Um, so anyway, uh, the next thing <clears throat> is we're gonna go ahead and go from matplotlib import actually from matplotlib dot figure import capital F figure. Okay. So that's all of the imports that we're going to need. So I'm going to bring this up now. And once you have that, we're ready to make our page three. So to do that, we'll go ahead, we'll, we'll, we will retain one of the buttons, but we'll go ahead and not have all the buttons. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste page two, like all of this, copy, and then we'll just come down here, over and paste. And now we've got a page two. We'll rename this to page three. And we'll call this, uh, we'll change this uh, tk.label to say uh, graph page. And then if you recall to add a new page, we basically just take the name of this class. We'll come up to the very, very top and add, uh, add that to our little tuple here. Boom, now we've got page three and we can navigate ourselves to page three. And then we also need a link to it. So let's go ahead and add a link to it in uh, our start page class. So let's just copy and paste here. Whoops, Cop there we go. <laughs> paste, uh, we'll call it button three, button three, instead of that, uh, page two, page three. And then we'll call this graph page. Cool. So now when we save and run this, hopefully everything works. Uh, so here is our uh, thing. We'll go to graph page and boom, it says like graph page, back to home. Cool. But now we need to actually add a graph to it. So how do we do that? <clears throat> so we'll come down here after we pack the button. Now we want to add, we need to add the canvas. Then we need to like show the canvas and then we can actually, you know, put stuff to the canvas and we can also add in our navigation bar if you want it. And then, um, and really that's it because then we, uh, Basically, we're actually go. Uh, my bad. We'll plot first. So if you're, if you're not familiar with Matplotlib or any form of graphics, generally what you do is on the back end, you draw everything on the back end, and when you're all done drawing things, then you like render it and bring it to the front. Okay. So the when it comes to like graphics and stuff, the calculation of graphics usually is very fast. It's the displaying of graphics that is very cumbersome to a computer. So uh, so once we've once we've done the packing and all that. We need to do our typical matplotlib code. So first we're going to say f for figure e equals capital F figure. And then, so we're going to define what this figure is. So for now, we're just going to use the simple stuff. I was telling you that you can use grid and all this, but for now, we'll just make it a really simple figure. And the figure is going to be fig size equals, uh, and we'll make it a 5.5. Five. <clears throat> and then we'll add dpi equals 100. So that, there's our simple figure. If you want to know more about like all the things about matplotlib, I have a massive matplotlib tutorial series, and we're actually going to be using a lot of the elements from that matplotlib tutorial series. Uh, so if you're interested in learning a lot more about matplotlib or like what exactly we're doing or how you can maybe customize this chart to however you want to have a graph, uh, definitely check out that series. If, uh, if you have any questions or anything on matplotlib, chances are I've got a video. I can at least link you to the proper video. So f equals figure. Now we want to add, uh, we'll go ahead and add a subplot to this. So we'll say uh, a, and we'll say a equals f dot add underscore subplot. And then here we just give the, um, the number. So it's a one by one, and this is plot number one. That's what one, one, one means. So if you did one by two, that would be a one by two. This is chart number one and so on. But one, one, one just means there's only one chart. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll just do a dot plot. And then we'll just plot um, just a simple graph. So we'll just, just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's our uh, our x. And then we'll do a comma. And then we'll make a y list. We'll just do, five, do, 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 do something like that. 
let's make this something else. Let's make sure. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, I'm good. Okay. So now we've plotted the data. And so in our like matplotlib object here, we've got this lovely graph, but it's in the background. So now we want to like pull it to the foreground. Normally in matplotlib, you would basically run a uh, plt.show and boom, there's your graph. It would pop up lovely, but that's not what we want. We want it in our tkinter window. So we're basically going to have to do what plot.show typically does, um, minus a few things. So uh, after we've plotted, now what we want to do is we're going to um, bring up bring up the canvas basically. So we're going to say canvas equals capital F figure capital C canvas and then T K A G G mind the caps um, and then that's F and self. So F for the figure, self for self. Um, so that's canvas. Then we're going to do canvas dot show. And then finally, um, we're going to do canvas uh, dot get underscore tk underscore widget empty parms dot pack. So we're basically like packing in the canvas to tkinter like we always have. So keep in mind, you could do dot pack and you can also do got, dot grid. So dot pack. Um, and then we'll just say side equals. Uh, tk dot all caps top and then we'll go ahead and do fill equals tk dot both and then expand equals true so as usual um, this kind of orients it to the top fill means it will fill everything um, to the space that you've provided it with pack and then expand just means if there's any more white space beyond what you say or have allotted this widget um, expand to that space. Easy peasy. Now, um, in theory, that would be basically uh, basically it, uh, I think. But we're gonna want we want the navigation bar as well. So we're gonna do um, and actually we'd have to do I think one more thing. And let's go ahead and see if that would pop up. But I don't I don't think so. But we'll see. Nope, there it is. Okay. So there's our graph. It's actually in our tkinter window. So at this point, we don't have, like, that could be it, right? There's no navigation, though. So we can't really do anything with this chart. Normally, matplotlib also displays, like, where your mouse is and stuff. It has a, a decent hoverability. And I like the navigation bar. You might not. So, you know, if you don't want a navigation bar for whatever reason, that's how you could do the graph without a navigation bar. Now, uh, let's close this. For those who want a navigation bar, what do we do? So we'll come down here and we'll say uh, toolbar equals, and then we're going to say navigation toolbar, whoops, not a capital B, toolbar to T K A G G, mind the caps, and then canvas self. Now, so that's adding the toolbar to the canvas. Now, uh, what we do is toolbar dot update and then finally canvas dot underscore TK canvas dot pack and then um, let's go ahead and we're just gonna use the same rules for packing here copy that paste uh, and now let's go ahead and run this graph page and there are our um, our typical um, navigations. Now, I at least on on the chart that uh, I've been doing. So, like this is all the nav or all the yeah, basically navigation bar. So as you can see, the hover stuff is down here at the bottom, a bottom right. I kind of like it when it's at the top, but you might you know you might have all your preferences. But obviously, this is a tkinter window, so we can actually put this anywhere. So we're using pack right now. And giving it its own little widget space, but we can use the rules of tkinter to, to to move this anywhere you want. So on matplotlib, you don't really have the choice of where it goes. Well, you do actually, but not easily, not as easily as this. So uh, let's close out of this. So in theory, what could we do? Well, we could basically take this, cut, and then we can just throw it basically right up here. Um, actually, shoot, we won't get away with canvas here. Hold on, hold up. Okay, so what we can do then actually is is just like this. So cut that part and paste that down here. 
Let's see if we get away with that. No. Why am I failing? That is the question. <laughs> I thought I would get away with that, but let's do... We could do this instead. So, like, let's go like that. Side, TK, uh, bottom. Let's try something like that. You're killing me. You're killing me. What am I missing? <laughs> uh, canvas die. Get TK widget. What if, what if, what if you take this you son of a bitch okay Uh, I can't win. I can't win today, guys. Uh, that's okay. Um, it's interesting. Let's go to the sauce. Uh, this one's on the bottom as well. Right, so anyways, uh, that's how we can add a graph. Now, uh, the next thing that we want to do is we want to learn how we can make this graph live. So the idea is to pull data either from the exchanges or from CUBTC and actually make the data update live without having to like refresh the page so we can make it pretty easily just by clicking refresh or something like that but we want the page the whole page uh to refresh and it turns out actually that we can we can do some pretty neat things actually when we bring in matplotlib and use the animation function of matplotlib i don't know uh how you would do something similar in tkinter because if you knew how to do something very similar in tkinter um you know, maybe you could have like a, a backend daemon running and then you could have that daemon actually like update the tkinter window. But I've actually found that it's really easy just to use matplotlib's animation function. And while you're at it, why not make the animation function actually be your backend uh, daemon? So <laughs> anyway, uh, you'll see what I mean uh, in the coming video. But yeah, next video we'll actually make this graph live and we'll also we'll use matplotlib styles and uh, make this graph look pretty uh, quickly. So, uh, if you guys have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial video, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.